Now this reaction is known as iodoform reaction. CHI3 is called iodoform and this is a yellow precipitate Iodoform reaction is given by the compounds that has methyl ketone group present. So, iodoform reaction is given by compounds having methyl ketone group present. CH3CO is methyl ketone group. So, this is methyl ketone group. Basically, this reaction can be used for test of methyl ketone. So, iodoform reaction can be used. as a test for methyl ketone group. So, this is methyl ketone CH3CO. So, if compound has methyl ketone group present, And then if I treat this compound with I2 and NaOH, it will form yellow precipitate. This means compound has methyl ketone group that is CH3CO group present. And this is known as iodoform test. So, this is the basis for iodoform test. Let us discuss mechanism of this reaction. This reaction occurs because of acidity of alpha hydrogen. So, this hydrogen is alpha hydrogen. And this carbon is alpha carbon. So, in this case, we have 3 alpha hydrogen. And alpha hydrogens are acidic. So, when this compound is treated with base, Initially, we have acid base reaction. OH minus will act as a base and it will abstract a proton. And we will have this carb anion formed. Now, in the next step, this carb anion will act as a nucleophile and it will attack on iodine. So, we will have this product. This is nothing but nucleophilic electrophilic reaction. So, this is nucleophile and this time iodine is acting as electrophile. Now, the product form uh, still has alpha hydrogen.
and this hydrogen is even more acidic. So, hydrogen is even more acidic and the reason is iodine will show minus I effect. So, alpha hydrogen becomes more acidic because of minus I effect of iodine. So, once again we will have acid base reaction. So, OH minus will act as a base and it will abstract a proton. So, we will have this carb anion. And this carbon ion can again act as a nucleophile and it will react with iodine. So, we will have this product and the product still has some alpha hydrogen basically one alpha hydrogen and this alpha hydrogen is even more acidic. So, very acidic. So, we can say remaining alpha hydrogen is very acidic. And the reason is minus I effect of iodine. So, we have 2 iodine, 2 iodine atom that shows minus I effect. So, in the next step, we will again have acid base reaction. So, OH minus will abstract a proton, it will act as a base and we will have this carbon ion formed. And this carbon ion will again act as a nucleophile and it will react with iodine. So, this is the product. Now, this product does not have any alpha hydrogen. So, no alpha hydrogen. So, acid base reaction is over. Now, OH minus will act as a nucleophile so in the next step oh minus will act as a nucleophile and it will attack on carbonylic carbon at the same time we can open this double bond and we will have tetrahedral intermediate. So, this is tetrahedral intermediate.
Now CI3 is very good leaving group. So in the next step we can lose this leaving group. and we will have acid. Now this will act as base and this will act as acid. So we will have acid base reaction. And this will abstract a proton. So finally, we will have iodoform as a precipitate formed and we will also have salt of acid. This is yellow precipitate. So iodoform is a yellow precipitate. So, whenever we have CH3CO group present that is methyl ketone, we will have iodoform test. Iodoform reagent I2 plus NaOH also act as a mild oxidizing agent. So, this is a mild oxidizing agent. So, if I have this alcohol, this does not have a methyl ketone. But this compound gives iodoform test. And the reason is first this alcohol gets converted into methyl ketone because iodoform reagent is a mild oxidizing agent. So initially it forms methyl ketone and then it forms iodoform. So we will have this side salt of acid so we will have iodoform formation in this case. So in this lecture we discussed about mechanism of iodoform reaction and we said this reaction occurs because of acidity of alpha hydrogen. Only we have two steps that gets repeated three times. First is acid base reaction and next step is electrophilic nucleophilic reaction. Iodoform reaction is also given by alcohols that can be oxidized to methyl ketones. I2 plus NaOH that is iodoform reagent is a big oxidizing agent also.